Hey, True Believers England team here with a little video game news, and I'm kind of excited. Rocksteady, Superman game rumors resurface with new clues. I guess that's like, okay, this is what's going on with it. I'm very excited to hear that Rocksteady's taken on Superman, considering how much of a fan I am of the Batman games, Batman and Arkham, the Arkham games, I guess. And I, th that's what I play these days. Even if I buy a new game, I play it for a little bit, and then I'm back onto one of the Batman games. So, very excited. So, here, anyway, anyway, the article goes to say, new rumors suggest that Rocksteady Studios is once again working on a Superman video game to carry on the legacy of the Batman Arkham Trilogy. Look, I understand that Rocksteady didn't work on it, but can we stop acting like Batman Origins didn't exist? It is a pretty damn cool game, to tell you the truth. Uh, I mean, I would have done things differently, but... It's still pretty cool. Rocksteady's critically acclaimed Dark Knight-focused game series began in 2009 with Batman Arkham Asylum. The developer was also responsible for Batman Arkham City in 2011 and rounded out the franchise with Batman Arkham Knight in 2015. Fans have been waiting for a continuation ever since, and it lo now looks like the developers will move on or move the story to Metropolis. First of all, considering the successes that Superman has had in the video game world so far, I'm kind of surprised they're taking it on. On the other hand, you gotta think, man, Rocksteady, man, they did Batman so well that they really have to know the troubles that they're getting into and what they're going to do to fix it. So just, just based on the fact that they're making the game, I've got to give them props. Props are given. A new title has appeared on Game System Requirements, I don't know what that is, that cryptically teases Superman's world's finest. The game is listed under the action-adventure genre, and although there's no official release date, the site is the same one that leaked Devil May Cry 5 prior to its official announcement. And this is where a little bit of skepticism comes in, because I like the movies, Whenever they say, hey, there's a Flash movie in the works until I'm seeing it on the screen, I don't believe it's happening. As a matter of fact, I hear there's going to be an Aquaman film coming up. I don't believe it until I see it in the theaters. Not that bad, but you get the gist. So I don't know. I guess we've got to say everything we're reading and talking about right here is rumor only so far. Superman The World's Finest listing coincides with an IGN article that points out a job listing from Rocksteady in which the company was looking to hire for a AAA title on the next generation platforms. Considering the Game Awards is just two weeks away and has promised 10 new game announcements, Superman The World's Finest or any Rocksteady game would be a major announcement for that event. Okay, so I guess the title has to be talked about. And as a comic book fan, of course, World's Finest should be reserved for the game where they team up Batman and Superman, uh, not BVS or anything like that. But on the other hand, it's not a bad title. It's just, gosh, you know, the Man of Steel, the Man of Tomorrow. There's so many other things they could say, but I guess World's Finest. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. Earlier this year, an open-world Superman game was rumored to be in the works. Leaks claimed that only the Man of Steel would be playable, not Clark Kent, that the main villain had been narrowed down to Brainiac, and that the expanse of Metropolis would be roughly three times the size of Arkham Knight's Gotham backdrop. That's appropriate. I think they would need that kind of uh, room just for the flight alone. And man, if they could make the flight as good as they made the gliding in like uh, Arkham City 2, that would be awesome. Um, I'm jazzed. I am so jazzed for this game. Batman Arkham Knight gave Bruce Wayne's Batman a pretty def definitive ending. Despite there being several ways the story could continue, it just makes sense for Rocksteady to focus its effort on other members of the Justice League and possibly bring an open world Justice League game to consoles and PC one day. Oh, perchance to dream. Uh, well, that depends. I mean, the, the last JLA game, I kind of, I consider that a, a guilty pleasure game. Because while I was playing, I was like, hey, why can't we pick whatever characters we want? But I still found myself playing it over and over again because, hey, it's the Justice League and I'm going to do that. Plus, Ron Perlman is Batman. That kicked ass. I, I could take it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing a, an open world Justice League game. 
The fact that Rocksteady is hiring for next-gen consoles would mean that the next game likely won't be around until post-2020. The Arkham games featured many heroes and villains from the world of Batman, but had no direct connection to Superman himself. That being said, Arkham Knight included a number of Superman Easter eggs and hinted at the likes of LexCorp and Metropolis. Which would lead to the question, what do you think the side villains should be, you know, before you get to the big Brainiac boss. Obviously, Lex Luthor is going to play a part, but would you bring in the Parasite, maybe Mr. Mitzelpitalik? Uh, wh wh which one would you put in? I mean, some villains, I don't know, maybe like Mongol would be his own war world uh, kind of situation. I don't know. That's, that's a pretty cool question. It's also important to note that the sources recently claimed that Rocksteady was working on a Justice League game instead of a Superman standalone. Either way, it sounds like the AAA developer's next project is sticking with the world of DC currently. Rocksteady is remaining tight-lipped on the rumors, so fans will have to wait and see whether Superman will really get to fly into Rocksteady's world of superheroes. Wait a second! Are you... So the rumor isn't that there's a Superman. All this time they're writing about Superman, but they say the rumor is that possibly the Superman is going to be a Justice League game. Shouldn't that be the title? Rumored Superman may be Justice League. I don't know. They may be burying the story here. Uh, could be me. I don't know. It's just, uh, just a possible Justice League game is bigger news if it's all rumor at this point anyway. At least that's how I see it. Anyway, also in video game news, and I'm sure this is only only important to me, I'm a fan of the Telltale games, especially The Walking Deads. I love The Walking Dead, well, and the Batman. I mean, let's face it, it's Batman. You gotta love Batman, right? And uh, But yeah, I'm a fan of The Walking Dead games, and when Telltale closed their doors earlier, I was like, oh man, I heard there was another season, what's gonna happen? A lot of people just thought they were gonna junk it. Well, The Walking Dead, the final season, resumes development. And the article goes on to say, nearly two months after The Walking Dead, the final season was pulled from sale amid the shutdown of Telltale Games, some of the original team members have resumed work on the title. Robert Kirkman's Skybound Entertainment announced on Monday that development has begun again with many of the talented, passionate team members who originally worked on the game. Skybound statement acknowledged those negotiations and the delays that come along. It's like I can't read. What the hell? Come with them. Nothing. It's been fuck. Let's try that again. The Skybound statement acknowledged those negotiations and the delays that come with them, noting it's been a ton of work logistically and legally to get us to a place where we're able to roll up our sleeves and get to the actual work. And yes, I'm going to leave the flub in there. I apologize for the language. The flub, it makes me relatable, right? I don't know. I think it makes me look unprofessional. Un unprofessional? God dang it. That one I'm cutting out. Anyway, obviously they're just glad to get back to work. This story so far is going nowhere, so I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm including it here. Let's find out what the rest of the story has to say. And this is the rest of the story. Nobody gets Paul Harvey anymore. I don't know why I'm doing that. The company also addresses release dates and assured fans that no one will be charged twice for episodes. Soon, we'll be announcing release dates for the two remaining episodes. It's likely the previous seasons of the game may be unavailable to purchase for a few days as we transition. But don't panic. We'll have everything back online ASAP. If you've already purchased Season 4, you will not have to pay again. Future episodes will be available to download as soon as they are released via, via, via your original point of purchase. Known for such episodic games as The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, and Minecraft Story Mode, Telltale enacted widespread layoffs in September ahead of a complete shutdown of operations. The company filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. And, of course, that means we were not going to get another Wolf Among Us, uh, the last, another Batman, kind of like the others. Uh, yeah, that's kind of sad. I do like the Telltale games, but at least we're going to get a finale to Walking Dead, and if that sells, if that does well, then maybe they'll expand. I also know that I'm in a minority. I hear a lot of people putting down the Telltales. So by all means, when you're calling me stupid for liking these in the comment section, be freaking brutal, okay? Don't take it easy on me. I don't like that. I like funny, and I like harsh but that's just my opinion. What is yours? What do you think of the prospects of a, a, a open world Superman game? And then they're saying 
hey, it could be a Justice League game. I kind of want the Justice League more, but I'll take either. But what do you think? Uh, also about The Walking Dead, by all means. Are you a fan of the Telltale Walking Deads? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you're going to insult me for liking the Telltales, make it good. Also, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. And if you haven't done it already, ring that bell so you don't miss anything. Cool things happen around these parts. And uh, we are trying to make a living doing this. So if you don't mind helping out the channel and the family, my poor starving family. Go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, helps keep the lights on, helps keep making videos for you. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.